Hello, everyone. It's Alex Axeltas Rodriguez here with your second episode of Comment of the Day. Last week, we talked about some cheesy play in its role in StarCraft II. Today, we're going to talk about something else. Of course, this is the segment where we take a comment made by the community, by you. We encourage discussion, and we just uh, we just talk about it. It's very simple, very clean. So that being said, today, we're going to take a comment from Reddit once again from user Aussie-Dead. Now, the title of this Reddit thread involved... Uh, discussion of players dropping to code B from code A as the recent as the code A qualifiers recently happened in Korea. Aussie Dead's comment was his opinion. They are training for Heart of the Swarm and stopped caring for Wings Liberty. They have major events coming up and choose not to reveal their builds so they can make some guaranteed money elsewhere and not bet on a small chance of a code A victory. Foreigners are just being foreigners. So yeah, the basic idea of the thread was, all right, why are these foreigners dropping from code A? What's going on? And this was his description. Now, we're only going to focus on the first part of this. They are training for Heart of the Swarm and stopped caring for Wings Liberty, which brings up an interesting discussion as far as what should people be focusing on? Now, obviously, there's two different dis distinctions here. There's pro players, and then there's you. There's me. So pro players, it, it's interesting. It pretty much comes down to where the money is, at least in my opinion. If a pro player is looking at their month, their year, and they're like, all right, what Wings of Liberty tournaments are coming up? What Heart of the Swarm uh, tournaments are coming up? How much money is involved in each of these? Which can I qualify for? Which am I already qualified for? So there's some tournaments right now that are still running Wings Liberty, so it makes sense for these players to focus pretty much exclusively on Wings Liberty based on the money involved. Now, there are some tournaments, Heart of the Swarm, like MLG, and uh, Pro League is going to make the switch. GSL is going to make the switch. Players have to start anticipating for that. So if there's more money in Wings Liberty, sure, focus on that. Heart of the Swarm, if there's not so much money as far as you specifically as a player, then yeah, focusing more on Heart of the Swarm makes a lot more sense. Now, Another thing is uh, you and me, like what should we be focusing on? So me as a player, I look at Wings of Liberty. I'm high masters. My next goal would be probably Grand Master, but then I think to myself, okay, so let's say I work really hard for the next month and I get Grand Master in Wings of Liberty. Well, guess what? Heart of the Swarm's coming out soon. And a lot of people are switching from Wings of Liberty to Heart of the Swarm. So does it actually mean anything to get Grandmaster at Wings of Liberty more? This is how it is in my mind. Again, this is my opinion. So it's like, I don't have a lot of motivation to really try to play a lot in, in Wings of Liberty right now because if I get Grandmaster, people are just gonna say, oh, everyone with Heart of the Swarm, your Grandmaster doesn't even mean anything. Um, and for me, Heart of the Swarm, it's still beta. It doesn't come out uh, in, until March, it doesn't come out until March 12th. So it's still gonna change a bit. So for me as a player, as far as Heart of the Swarm is concerned, I don't know if it's valuable to invest a lot of my time into it. So that's just my point of view. And as far as the players with team obligations, like in Pro League, they still have to focus on Wings Liberty. If I was their coach, I'd be like, all right, look, focus on Wings Liberty, 85% Wings Liberty. Let's do 15% practice time part of the sword because we still want to have some investment for the future. And I would take my B teamers and say, hey, B teamers, you want A team? Focus exclusively on Heart of the Storm right now. And then those guys are going to be really good when Pro League ends up making the switch. So those are my opinions. Those are my thoughts on the situation between between Wings of Liberty versus Heart of the Swarm. That stuff may or may not happen. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? What should players do? What should coaches tell their players? What are you going to do? What are you going to focus on? Leave your comment in the video below or in the comments below this video. If you're watching this on stream, head over to youtube.com slash official MLGSE2 for more awesome StarCraft 2 content and be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment and maybe you'll be on the next comment of the day. That being said, this has been Alex Axel Tosser with the second episode of Comment of the Day. I'll see you next time.